Hello and welcome back to another straightforward tanks painting tutorial. In this video I'll be continuing to show you how you can paint your tanks without using airbrushes, specialist paints or weathering powders. And in this particular video I'll be showing you how you can paint the uh, Blitzkrieg grey camo of the, uh, the German tanks, uh, also known as Dunkelgrau. For this tutorial I'll be using the Warlord Games Panzer III tank as my subject and I'll be painting it with the Army Painters range of paints and brushes. So here we have the tank and as you can see I've primed it using the Army Painters uh, Uniform Grey Spray Primer and this gives us a really nice grey base coat in which to work from. However it's a little bit light at this point so what we want to do is darken it up and for this we'll be using Dark Tone Ink. For this step I'm using my large dry brush as it will give me uh, some quick coverage over the areas and I've mixed in about 50% water into the mix and this will uh, make it a lot easier to cover over the areas. And Dark Tone Ink is a black ink so it will create much darker grey. And once this layer is dry I'll be uh, doing a second wash over just to improve the darkness of the grey. So once the wash is complete the next step is to apply some highlights over the, uh, the tank and this we'll be using uniform grey. For this step I'm using my uh, vehicle and terrain brush just to uh, give me some easy coverage over the edges. We're going to be dragging this across and I've uh, removed most of the paint from this brush so we've got a nice dry brush technique. I'm just focusing across the edges as you can see here. Once the dry brush is complete the next step is to paint all of the tracks and also some of the stowage items such as the, the, the axe uh, handles and the, the shovel handles as well. Painting all of these areas with oak brown. For painting the tracks I've mixed in quite a bit of water, maybe about 30% of the mix of water of the oak brown as this will allow me to cover a lot more quickly over the tracks as you can see I'm doing here. Now I'm using my monster brush for this particular step, however when I actually come to paint all the stowage items I'll probably be using my uh, character brush instead. With the tracks complete the next step is to focus on the lining on the road wheels and also the uh, um, various tools and equipment that are dotted about the top. I'm painting all of these areas with a matte black. Now for this step I'm going to be using my regiment brush to paint the lining. I'm going to be very careful not to overspill onto the areas that we've already painted. Just make sure that I get nice even coverage. I've uh, mixed in a small amount of water into this coat as well. Once this is dry I'll be uh, going over it again just to give us the best coverage possible. So before we move on to painting any weathering onto the tank, the next step is to apply any transfers that you want to apply onto the tank. Once you have finished applying any decals onto the, the miniature, you can now start with the shading. And the first thing we're going to be doing is using the Strong Tone Ink to wash in some grime into the recesses. For this step I'm using my regiment brush, so I'm going to be focusing into the recesses of the tank just to simulate any mud that's accumulated. I'll also be washing any of the brown areas such as the, uh, the tank treads at the bottom here and also the tools on top. The next step is to apply some dust onto the uh, the tracks and also around the belt that bottom there and for this we'll be using Monster Brown. For this step I'm going to be using my small dry brush and I've uh, removed most of the paint from the brush and I'm using this one because I want a little bit more control so I'm going to be focusing it around the treads there as if uh, mud has splattered up from the tracks and then has dried. And we don't have to be too neat at this stage and we can even brush over the decals like so. Now the final step in weathering the tank is to apply some uh, armour chips and for this we'll be using matte black. Now this time around instead of using a brush I'll be using this uh, foam here and this is just the foam that you get in blister packs for miniatures and I've uh, dipped into the, uh, the matte black paint there. I've removed a small amount of the, of the excess I'm just going to be gently dabbing this onto the edges of the metal plates and this creates a nice speckled chipped effect you can just about see on the edge there. And I'll be applying this across the miniature um, in any areas you would expect this kind of damage to occur. So here we have the completed tank. Now whilst I've used a Panzer III for the subject of this tutorial you could apply the exact same techniques to pretty much any of the German vehicles from uh, the 39 to 41 period. Now if you're liking my straightforward tanks painting tutorials do let me know in the comments below and I will make more in the future. Additionally subscribe to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos. Additionally, if you want to support me in making more tutorials, you can do so by heading over to my Patreon page, which you can find a link for in the description below. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.